Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and today I'm going to be telling you which TV I prefer out of LG OLED and Samsung QLED. So I've just got to say a quick thanks to the guys at box.co.uk for supplying me with both of these TVs and don't forget that we are doing a giveaway in conjunction with the guys at Box. Now we've got uh, six prizes in total. We've got five uh, Netflix vouchers worth £25 each. And we've got one top prize of an LG Sangbar worth £600. So if you want to win for that, uh, you've got to be mainland UK and over 18. And there will be a link in the description for that. I'm not going to forget about you guys who are outside of the UK. So uh, I've got a Google Home Mini to give away. So as long as you are a subscriber to my channel, then uh, you've got a chance of winning that Google Home Mini and I'll run that alongside the uh, box giveaway. Now, if you do want to pick up one of these TVs, there are links in the description. And again, there are exclusive offers for you viewers. And uh, all you've got to do is buy one of these TVs from the guys at Box and you could get yourself an extra £50 worth of store credit. There are, again, links in the description and details of how to do that. Right, moving on. So, just for you guys who haven't watched the channel before, I'm just going to give you a brief rundown of the situation with the TVs. Now, both of these TVs were uh, supplied to me um, by the company Box, and I was given the option to keep one of these TVs. Now, I already own a B8 OLED, a 65 inch version, and yeah, I had a choice of keeping a B9 OLED or the Samsung Q90R. And I decided before I even got the TVs there that I was going to keep the Samsung. Now, reason for this is that um, I just thought there was no point in having two OLEDs and I could make some really good content comparing the two TVs over a long period of time. So I've got, you know, QLED and an OLED, the two sort of rival technologies, if you want to look at it like that, uh, competing in the market. And I know that a lot of you guys are pretty undecided which to go for, an OLED or a QLED. So hopefully with me having both, that over time I can give you plenty of information and things like that. And in this video, uh, again, I can pass on what I've learned over the time I've had them. Um, and hopefully it will help you make a decision on what TV is best for you. I do want to say that um, everything that I say in this video is just my opinion. And, you know, your opinion may differ to mine and that is perfectly fine. I do not want this video to be turning into some mass argument. And, you know, I have had actual abuse from people before because what I have said about one TV or another, to the point it's actually crazy. I've had threats of violence and everything, which is just bonkers just because of a choice of a TV. Or what I say, I like or dislike, absolutely madness. So um, please respect my opinions. And if if you don't and you're gonna get mouthy, quite frankly, I'm just gonna ban you off and delete your comments so you're just wasting your time. For everyone else, like I said, you know, just in, enjoy what I've got to say. So if you see my previous video, you would have seen that I'd um, drew up some sort of comparisons between the two, like looking at the remote controls, the connections, and so on, so on and so forth. And uh, I'm going to sort of go back through that now and tell you guys the, the sort of things that I prefer on each TV before we get down to the actual picture itself. Because again, these things make a difference when uh, making your decision on uh, buying a TV. So starting off, I'm going to talk about the remote controls. Now, Samsung's comes with two remote controls and the nicer remote control out of the two is the best looking out of all the remote controls. And uh, LG's is a bit plasticky, but to be fair, if I had to choose a remote control to use every day, it would be the LG because it's like a magic pointer jobby and it is function over form more than anything. And that's what you want at the end of the day. You know, it's okay looking nice, but when you want to get on with a job and do you know what I mean? That's the remote I would go to every time. Onto the design of the TVs. Now, 
as you may know if you watch the channel these tvs are sort of up and down off the wall all the time so sometimes it's in and out the box and both me and my partner did say that um once we we had the um QLED up on the wall for a while we took it down and went to replace it with the OLED again and as soon as we got the OLED out of the box we were we both said to each other what a stunning TV is it is it's nice and light and sorry to say it but it makes the Samsung look a bit old-fashioned with the thickness of it I mean don't get me wrong it's like it's not like a brick or anything like that but when you you know when you've been used to sort of one and you change to the other the thinness of that lg is is just so gorgeous it's just looks so futuristic compared to the samsung so on looks i'm going to go for the lg moving on to the connectivity of the tvs now some of you might know what i'm going to say now but one problem with the lg that bugs the hell out of me is the fact that the power cord on it is fixed and only one and a half meters long and i can't stand that and uh the, the great thing about the samsung is that you get the one connect box five meters of cable and it's just a much neater install connection wise for me personally um i'm not too bothered about the hdmi 2.1 but for some you know you might want it being few future proof than that um, so for me personally I'm gonna go for the Samsung when it comes to connectivity moving on to sound and uh, this was something that I demonstrated in my previous video and on the standard settings I've got to say it but the Samsung was a little bit lacking because um, yeah the volume just didn't seem to be there Again, maybe if you fiddle around with it a bit more, you can get a bit more out of it. But I like to test my things out of the box how they are. And even with a bit of fiddling around, to be honest, I still prefer the sound that comes out of the LG, which is quite shocking, to be honest, when you consider how thin it is at the back and how bulky the back of the Samsung is. Okay, picture. Now, this is the bit that you've all been waiting for. What? one do i prefer the picture of this is where it gets a bit complicated so if i had to sum these tvs up as cars it would go something like this the qled is like a lamborghini it's loud it's fast it's in your face it you know it grabs your attention Everything it does is sort of like at 110%. The picture is sort of like overly sharpened, overly bright, overly saturated with colour. It's like they've turned the dial up to 11 and everything. Again, obviously, you can turn all this sort of stuff down. But that's just the impression that you get with the Samsungs. Um, so, yeah, you know, it is class leading. You know, like I said, like a Lamborghini, top end. And it turns heads, you know, if it was in a store, it's going to grab your attention. The LG, that is more like a Rolls Royce. Again, top of its game, but a completely different um, car completely. It's more refined. It's, I, I don't know, how do I explain it? The picture it just has some sort of a quality to it that the QLED no matter how much I fiddle around with the settings I, I just can't seem to extract out of it there's a richness to the picture and it's because of those blacks that do it um, don't get me wrong like I said the, the the picture on the QLED is amazing but generally in my opinion the picture on the OLED beats it but when it comes to your lower res resolution stuff um, even 1080p content to be honest the Samsung does give a sharper picture that the LG 
is not as sharp, that, that is definite. And I'd, I'd say that across the board, to be honest, even with higher quality co content, so 4K HDR. The, the Samsung is, is sharper, but again, the, the, the LG just has that, that polish to it. The, the, how do I say it? The LG is more aimed at sort of the uh, a picture connoisseur, if you want to look at it like that. People who appreciate a really, really good picture will pixel people and will look at that fine quality of detail in an image, I think will go for an OLED. The QLED is more for people who aren't really bothered about the fine details maybe you know it looks absolutely stunning um, and for a lot of people I think they would probably be more drawn to the QLED so I'm now going to give you my opinion on which one I would go for myself and for me personally I would go for the OLED now this is for the reasons that I have just said and yeah, I like to watch a lot of films and again that is where the OLED just seems to come into its own. Watching a film on that is just absolutely breathtaking. This is going to sound a really like strange thing to say but with the um, QLED Samsung, yes it's nice having that extra brightness but sometimes it can just be too much Again, I know you can dull it down, but then you've got to ask yourself, if you're going to keep raining in that brightness, because, you know, when it comes on, it's all in your face. What's the point in paying the extra for that brightness if all you're going to do is turn it back down? Um, and to me, yes, it, it does make the picture pop and things like that, but it's the darkness of the OLED that stands out even more it's more i you know in a way for me it's almost more eye-catching the darkness if that sort of makes sense um it's just you've got to see it in person if you've not seen a, an oled you've got to go and see one in person to to understand what i mean like when you've got say i don't know a, credits are coming up on a film or something like that when it's on a black background and you've got some white text or something like that it it just so pops and stands out it's and that's just something that the the QLED can't do now don't get me wrong the black levels are really really good for the QLED but I will show you in another video coming up soon they they just still cannot match those OLED black levels so yeah, I, I'm gonna say, if you are not into your movies and you are the sort of person who wants to just get a TV, you just want, you know, you wanna be able to leave it on and not worry about it. Um, and you know, you, you're not, like I say, not bothered about these fine details, but you want an amazing clear picture go for the QLED, without a doubt, go for the QLED. Um, because it does offer a be better, sharper, more pleasing to the average person, I'd say. Um, yeah, a, a, an, av an average person would have probably appreciate that picture more than an OLED. I think an OLED is more for People just want sort of that finer image. Sorry if I'm going on here a bit. I just want to sort of try and get it across in my own little way of how I seem, you know, how I see it. And uh, yeah, so I will say that there's, it wasn't a walk away with the OLED, without a doubt. Um, I would, you know, if, if I'd never had an OLED and I went to a QLED, I'd be gobsmacked with it absolutely blown away with it, without a shadow of a doubt and i can understand people who've not had a qled why they 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 go on and say 
Um, so people who have not had an OLED say how amazing QLEDs are because if you've not had an OLED, you know, you don't miss what you haven't had sort of thing. Um, so I can fully understand it and I will sing an OLED's praises all day long. Well, should I say, you know, one that I've I've got. And yeah, um, but if you have had an OLED, I think it's pretty hard to go back to something like a QLED when it comes to those dark, dark scenes and things like that. Um, it just, yeah, it just can't compete. It, um, it, like I say, it's, it's really good, but it's not there. It's just not there yet, unfortunately. And like I said, I will show you in more detail in an upcoming video the point I'm trying to get across, I will show you that you know what the black level is like, and you know you do still get bloom, and I don't care what people say. I've seen it with my own eyes, and I will try and show you with a camera. And when you move off axis, because that is one thing I did notice, the picture is sweet as a nut on the QLED when you are sat clean dead on in the center. But when you start shifting around a bit, up or down, and that the um, on dark scenes, the blooming or whatever starts to become a bit more prominent you see like that blue tint coming out so and that again like i said once you've had a qled it's hard to unnotice that so i hope all that makes sense one thing i haven't uh, touched on actually was gaming now again personally i think um picture quality wise the oled wins it for gaming but that said, if you are a serious gamer, I think you may be better off with a QLED because a lot of gamers, from what I know, are more bothered about winning than about the quality of the picture. I mean, if you want the quality of the picture, go for the OLED. But I think you could adjust the picture better on the QLED because you've got that extra brightness and that in some areas it might be a bit of a struggle with the dark scenes and stuff with an OLED so that could make the difference say if you're playing Call of Duty or something like that that um, you might lose a little bit of detail um, if you haven't got it you know tuned in perfectly so the QLED might be the easier option and you haven't got that burning worry and that is a worry for a lot of uh you guys i know you've uh messaged me many a time saying you know i'm i'm a big gamer but i do worry about the burning so to summarize up if you're an average punter not really bothered about um watching films that much and you do worry about burning and you know you maybe watch a lot of lower quality um uh, content i'd say qled all day but if you want a nice refined um i won't say perfect image but a another step up in quality when it comes to image i'd say go for the oled you guys may be wondering what am i going to actually be doing with the with the qled and um i'm actually going to be doing the ultimate bedroom setup so yeah that bad boy is going in my bedroom we're going to uh get an xbox up there and everything get it all set up nice so uh join me for uh, the videos of me doing that we've got a no gap wall mount for the samsung as well and the reason why it's going in, in the bedroom is because of the fact that an OLED could suffer with burning because we generally have the TV on when we go to sleep at night and to be honest it would be quite a big risk as soon as we fall asleep every night and it gets left on so there's a good chance it would be left on uh, static sort of images you know when uh, the sky box or whatever uh, goes to its sort of main menu so that's the reason because uh, 
the QLED will not suffer with that problem. So it's going up in the bedroom and that's where it's going to be living its life out. So please join me for the uh, ultimate bedroom setup when I uh, put it all up there. Like I say, no gap wall mount and all that. Might put the sound bar up there as well. And uh, yeah, should be great. So there you have it then, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and I didn't waffle on too much. I expect I have, but like I said, I want to sort of get it across exactly how I see it. Because uh, I know a lot of you guys are sort of waiting for... Uh, my nod of, of uh, which way I'd go with the TVs and I'm sorry it's not as clear cut as you probably like it to be because I think there's a lot of people out there who think I just say oh definitely go for a QLED or go for an OLED you know one or one before the other so it is what it is but it just goes to show how great these TVs are that they can be so close and we should all be grateful that we have got this this choice you know uh what what a time to be alive that you know we we have that choice between two different technologies and you know they they cater for uh different types of people and that is great and you know we shouldn't argue all, over all this you know it's like i said before it is personal preference at the end of the day what you prefer is you know absolutely fine it doesn't bother me either way so uh please don't let it turn into a big argument in the comment section and that and you know, it's no disrespect to any QLED owners because I have picked an OLED. Like I said, it's just my personal preference and I respect everyone else's personal preference. So please respect mine. So anyway, if you have enjoyed this video today, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of the same in the future, then uh, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.